Hi guys, today's video I am going to show you how to set up cron scheduler in Laravel application with docker environment. So let's get started. So I already in my previous video I show you how to set up the MySQL database and the Nginx uh, server with the Laravel docker image. So same project, let me go to my VS code editor. I am going to define, you can see that I have services defined web, Nginx and DB. So same way I am going to show you the how to set up the scheduler command okay so in this example we are going to create like uh, one scheduler every five seconds create a new user and display and we will set it set up automatically on docker image okay so first of all i'm going to create one artisan command so let me go to my terminal and i'm going to create php artisan mac command and i'm going to create test command hit enter and you can see that it is going to create a new file over here in my vs code editor test command okay and just here I'm going to say just info and I'm going to just add current time for now okay and just save it okay and here app test okay just save it okay and uh, then let me go here and run the command php artisan app colon test hit enter and now let me go here in storage logs laravel log you can see that so that means our command is running so what i'm going to do the next in this command here i'm going to use user model okay Con colon create and here i'm going to add the name name i'm going to just use test with random value from 1 to 1000 okay and then next i'm going to add email and email should be the unique so that's why i will just call test dot time function so every time it will be unique okay at the rate gmail.com then i'm going to set the password right now i'm going to set randomly one two three four five six password without encrypted but this is for testing just save it so every five seconds we are going to create a new user so this is the command is ready now let me go to the routes and let me set it schedule so let me go here into the console.php and here i can make it comment this just save it here i'm going to use schedule facade Ctrl J, not that. So just I will call schedule facade colon colon command and command we have created app colon test that we have checked already and that should be run every five minute. Every sorry every five seconds whatever your destination like every day you want to run every year uh, every year a uh, monthly that you can there is a several option but for testing reason we are going to set every five seconds just save it. So that means this is very basic and simple setup of our command and every 5 seconds that will create a new users. Now let me go and create a new route so we can double check that users is really created or not. So I am going to create new route get users. First of all I am getting all the users from the user model column column get. And then I'm going to just return view that's called users and compact the all the users I have passed to the blade file. Just save it and just create a new blade file inside the view. So I'm going to create new file that's called users.blad dot php hit enter okay so you can see that this is very basic blade file and here i'm going to create a, a very simple basic page using bootstrap so i'm going to use custom snippet and yeah you can see that and now users list okay and then i will just use again custom snippet for table so just control j save it okay and let's uh, okay uh, we already passed the user so here i can directly use for each loop like this okay users and i can get the user save it and this for each loop should be 
close after tr like this and let me remove some space just save it and let me display the real data over here first of all in the first i'm going to add the id like this and user name and user email just save it and add it and delete button and keep as it is for now just save it so this is very basic example now create the docker image okay so let me go again terminal and i'm going to just create docker compose image and just build it okay okay our docker image is up and running so now let me go here in previous example we already see that localhost 8080 port we are going to running the application you can see that application is running but there is a problem with database connection base table or view are not found so that means we need to run the migration so what i'm going to do just docker compose and execute php artisan migrate okay so just run the migrate command okay so that means it's going to run the migration using you can see that execute command with the web image okay so just hit enter and you can see that migration is running properly now let me go back to the browser and hit refresh you can see that our laravel 12 application is up and running now let me go here and i will just call users and hit enter you can see that there is no users right now but let me go here and same way i'm going to run the schedule command in image okay so like this schedule run and you can see that it is going to create a new users okay and just cancel it okay and hit refresh you can see that it is going to create a one user with the test email okay so that means when you are running them manually scheduler that means it is going to create a new user but that scheduler every five seconds should run automatically so how can we do that so let me go back and first of all i'm going to just docker compose down with volume okay so that means it will uh, down the all the uh, composer images currently so now let me go back and go to the composed yml here we have defined the web services and gnx services same way i'm going to define new services that's called scheduler and that service will keep running okay so let me go and just i will call build context will be dot as it is and docker file and docker file okay like this and image we need to define an image what will be the image so my laravel app so image should be the common because then they are going to use that image and volume we need to define so volume will be dot slash slash where slash triple w slash html whatever our application you can see that we already define over here so that the volume we have defined and here we need to define the working directory and working directory is where triple w slash html and here I, we need to define the cron command okay so that command we need we i already created custom snippet for it so doc cron and hit enter and you can see that in this command so that means this command will run automatically you can see that do with php artisan schedule run vibos and you, you can see that and sleep for 60 seconds so that means you don't have to worry about that will be automatically run in the background side now hit enter and now you can see that i need to run depend depends on db just save it so that means we have added new service over here so that the separate service and that will be a keep running just save it 
and now let me go back and let me clear this and I'm going to again generate docker compose updates this dead edge build okay and hit enter and it is going to build again the all the images yeah our every uh, images are running properly and now let me go back to the browser and just again I'm going to run delete this and we are again going to find again same error so what we need to do just let me clear this and I'm going to run docker compose execute and migration we need to run the command hit enter and you can see that migration is running and let me go here and you can see that laravel application up and running and now let me go to the users hit enter right now we don't have any users so let me go back to vs code editor and storage laravel log and let me go here and let me clear all the log just save it okay and let's wait for a five second it will create a new users automatically You can see that our cron is running over here now let me go back to the browser and hit refresh you can see that there is a two users created now let me go back you can see that just wait every five seconds that scroll automatically run so let me go back again and every five second we have a new user so this is very simple and basic how you can easily set up the cron job with the separate service and uh, uh, it helps you if you think it helps you then you can share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos about docker see you in the next video guys